Mark, tonight Miami County prosecutors have vowed to do everything in their power to make sure that Jason Durig never sees the light of day beyond prison walls. This morning he was sentenced to 15 years to life for the death of his eight-month-old son last summer. Standing next to his attorney, Jason Durig speaks softly in court Monday morning. The only thing I have ever wanted was to have my own family and to take care of them and support them. And I really screwed it all up. The 29-year-old and his wife Tara were arrested in July after their eight-month-old son Caleb died. Prosecutors call it the worst case of child abuse they've ever seen, citing bite marks, bruises, skull fractures, and a compressed chest. Durig pleaded guilty to murder and child endangering in December. In court, his attorney asked the judge for leniency. But this was not a crime of hate or malice. It was a crime of uh, ignorance and inexperience, and uh, he truly regrets what he did. Prosecutors say that's not the case. He has a history of abusing children. Durig spent time behind bars for burning another child in 2007. In a note read by a victim witness representative in court, family members called Durig a monster. You took Caleb's life away from him, and now yours should be taken away from you. The judge sentenced Durig to 15 years to life. Prosecutors say it's not enough for what baby Caleb had to endure, and they vow to fight any chance Durig has for freedom. We'll make sure, whether we're here or not, when he comes up for a parole, that there's a file and that the parole board will have the opportunity to view exactly what happened to this child. And I can tell you that those pictures are something that leave an impression on you for life. Now, Durig's wife, Tara, pleaded no contest to permitting child abuse in December. She's scheduled to be sentenced next week. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News on your side.